Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at stampabub.com. Today I'm going to be sharing something special with you, a product spotlight. I am going to spotlight one of my favorite sweet collections out of our new September through December mini catalog. Let's head right over to ah, Regal Winter Sweet Collection. When I first saw the mini catalog, I was paging through it and I stopped right here and I went, Oh my goodness, this paper is delicious. I was immediately attracted to the very rich, gorgeous colors. So I knew I had to have this entire suite. What I'm going to do today is go through the suite. I'm going to give you all the tips that I have learned about it, point out some things that you may have missed. We're going to um, look at the definition in these beautiful watercolor textured stamped images and basically fill you in on why I love it. So first off, our Regal Flora stamp set and coordinating dies are beautiful. The images are a watercolor texture. And what that means is that Stampin' Up! uses red rubber to get the most definition out of these images. You can stamp with them with ink and it looks like you have done a hand painted watercolor. And I love that about these very beautiful, precise images. Now we've got 10 different stamps in this particular stamp set. And then we've got the Regal Flora dies. Some really unique details about these dies that I'm going to share with you. Also included in this collection is the beautiful Blackberry Bliss and gold half inch textured ribbon. Now, you get 10 yards of this ribbon on a roll and it's a really nice feel. It ties very, very nice bows, nice knots. It's not stiff. It doesn't seem to be real bulky. See how pretty that is? I love that gold edging on there. Also included, in the sweet collection are the beautiful regal foiled adhesive backed dots. Now these come in four different colors that coordinate with the designer series paper. We've got the Berry Burst, the Blackberry Bliss, the Knight of Navy, and the Shaded Spruce. And I don't know if you can see the detail in these, but they have little gold flecks. It almost looks like somebody was mining for gold and dropped them into these little dots. Next, we're gonna head over to the specialty paper. This Regal Distressed Pattern Specialty Paper. You get six sheets in here, two of each single side design. So these are not double-sided, but they are gold embossed. And they're so beautiful. We have white with gold, cherry cobbler with gold, and pretty peacock with gold. My all-time favorite and what really brought me to my absolute love for this suite is the designer paper. This is the Regal Winter 12 by 12 designer paper. You get 12 sheets in a pack. There are two of each of six double-sided designs. So this is the first beautiful floral. Cherry cobbler on the back with a floral in there. Then we have the wild wheat with a shaded spruce plaid pattern on the back. This beautiful Blackberry Bliss and almost like petal pink floral with the wild wheat plaid. Then we have gorgeous Knight of Navy with some purples in there. Oh, I love this paper. Blackberry Bliss pattern. Next is a Blackberry Bliss floral and pretty peacock pattern. And then this gorgeous floral with again, the Knight of Navy pattern floral. So this paper was what really did it for me. And I have had a blast designing projects with this. The coordinating colors in the designer paper pack is, cheer or I'm sorry, Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Cherry Cobbler, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and of course the Wild Wheat. 
gorgeous, gorgeous, rich colors for all your fall and winter designing. Now, what kind of cards are you going to design with this stamp set? Well, we've got wishing I were there to give you a hug. I took the liberty of stamping all of these little sentiments so that I could see exactly what I was dealing with. This is great for a get well, for somebody who's recovering from a surgery, or somebody who just needs a little extra love. Then we've got the sending love your way. These sentiments can be um, used together. They're coordinating on the front, on the inside. We also have a sweet little missing you and a thanks, and then these dots. And I love when they put little elements like this in because it's just great kind of for a fill-in. And I wanted to share with you, you may not have noticed it, but on this white card right here, they have used those the little dotted images in the background. They also used it on this Blackberry Bliss card. And I can tell you that both of these appear as if they are gold embossed with embossing powder, which, oh, that is so rich and gorgeous, right? Let's talk about the dyes for a moment. I said that we have 10 different images in the stamp set. We have seven different dies in here, but they actually make eight die cuts. And I love this label element because when you die cut this, you not only get this inside piece, but you get the outside frame. And that's great for mixing and matching you can put a different colored frame around the inside label. I think that's very fun. And it gives you a lot of opportunities. So I took this label and I die cut some pieces out of the designer series paper. And I also cut out some berry burst. And I just wanted to share with you the detail that are on both of these. Look at the little hash marks all the way around the edge. And then we have these die cut um, rounded corners, which gives these dies a lot of detail. When you die cut with this particular die, you're going to put it through one pass and you're going to get both of these pieces. So this cuts two pieces at once, which is, you know, really handy. And here's what I'm talking about when I'm saying that you can mix and match the outside frame with the inside label. Oops, let's see if I can, oh, I have to turn that over. <laughs> let's see if I can put a puzzle back together. But isn't that pretty? So that leaves a lot, lot of opportunity available to you. This is the kind of like, I don't know, little floral image here. It really does kind of look like a little cluster of flowers. And I die cut it with the designer series paper shown here. But look at all the intricate, um, like different texture just because I die cut it out of the paper. You can see it's die cut here out of Blackberry Bliss. And then we've got it here out of the designer paper. So lots of opportunities there for some mixing and matching of colors and textures and patterns. I also took some different ink colors because I wanted to see what these flowers look like in different colors. And what I have here is Berry Burst. And you can see the detail and definition in this watercolored textured image. Then I chose peach pie. Now, I don't see as much definition in the peach pie, and I'm pretty sure that's because my ink pad is a little bit inky. So if you use one of these watercolor textured stamps and you're not seeing the definition, what you can do is you can open up your ink pad, and you can see that I did this here, and you can take like a gift card and, and scrape back a little bit of the ink and then stamp in there. And you can see that's exactly what I did here. Sometimes we get too much ink in our ink pads and then you're leaving the ink in there. You're not taking it out. You're just moving it aside. If you would like to put that ink back in the middle, you can grab, let me grab a plastic spoon here. I always have a plastic, whoops, hang on. I always have a plastic spoon and you can just push that all back in there and make it even again. So there's a little tip for you on, um, if you're not seeing the definition in your very defined stamps, that is a good way to get it back. 
Next, I used Fresh Freesia for this particular flower. And last, I brought in the Calypso Coral. And you can see I don't have as much definition here. Again, I think my ink pad is a little too inky. So I would use that gift card to do the same thing there. But I do love these images. I think they're very rich and beautiful. And we are using this entire, well, I shouldn't say the entire, yeah, yeah. Kind of, the only thing we're not using is the texture paper. We're using the stamp set. We are using the dies. We're using the regal foiled adhesive back dots and the designer paper in our new catalog kickoff that is going on right now. You'll find the link to that in the details of, or the description of this video. Please go check it out. We're sharing so many projects from the brand new mini catalog. You don't want to miss it. It is a blast. Last but not least, I just wanted to share a few swap cards that I received using this designer series paper. I love how they mixed and matched the pretty peacock with the Knight of Navy here, the nested essential dies for a nice thinking of you card. Then we've got the decorative trees, and you can see that beautiful blue paper. They use the beautiful blue right here under the tree, and then they've got, I can see a little purple right here for the piece that goes across the middle. And last but not least, this little beauty. This uses the peaceful season dies, but look at this. You can see both sides of that paper. Isn't this gorgeous? This paper is absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, can be used for a variety of projects with other Stampin' Up! stamp sets dies. One more thing. The nice thing about this set of dies is that all seven of these dies will fit through the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. So that's always nice too, nice and handy to keep on your tabletop. Thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. Don't forget, we have a new catalog kickoff going on right now using the Regal Flora bundle and also the Regal Winter Designer Series paper, the ribbon, the dots. We are having a blast. I hope you'll be able to join us for that. Thanks for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. Bye-bye.